Have you found that you're living out of a broken heart? Do you feel wounded? Do you feel like there's something wrong and you just can't put your finger on it? If you do, if you do feel that way, there are stages and there is a process to overcoming. I can only share from my experience what it took for me to overcome. Overcome PNES and the cause of that which was PTSD. The stages that I recognize within that process is acknowledgement that there was a problem. That led to a healthy and newfound curiosity to finding solutions, to be able to explore. As I explored and my curiosity flourished, I began to learn new things. I now felt safe. I started to learn from books. I started to watch YouTube videos and TED Talks and reading books by noted authors who had something to share, something of value, something that I could use to heal my woundedness. If you learn and you don't apply, that information goes right out. So I learned and I intended to use that. As I did, I realized that there were many areas that I needed to learn and apply and learn and apply. Well, that took months and that was a wonderful experience because leaps and bounds. Seizures were going from eight hours a day to a full recovery of seizure-free living. That was within six months. Yes, sure, there were bumps along the way from that. As you know, if you've seen any of the, the progress of my overcoming. And there will be bumps in the road. There's guaranteed to still be bumps in the road going forward. I'm not going to be perfect. I'm not going to live in a perfect world. That doesn't exist. So that very first uh, qualification for living seizure free, which is finding a stress free environment, which I was told at the hospital, that doesn't exist. Get ready for a bumpy life because that's what's out there. That's what's waiting for you. And I can still live free. I can still have joy. I can still acknowledge the good. I can still live from the heart that God gave me. And so could you. God bless you and be well.